Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, um, people who want to become mothers, people who have mothers, <laughs> pet mothers, uh, mothers who lost babies, because I'm in, I'm in that category, uh, stepmothers, mothers-in-laws, <laughs> any kind of mother out there. Uh, today is a day for all of us to be celebrated, so happy Mother's Day. Anyways, <laughs> in the U.S., and I, I know South Africa, because I had a commenter say that, Probably some other places too. I know, I think the uh, UK, it's a different day. But oh well, whatever. Happy Mother's Day anyways. I mean, I'm looking outside, it's gloomy. And the wind is just, it's about to storm. <laughs> Trees are like moving around like crazy. Anyways, I want to come on here today and share with you the gifts that I got from my husband and my son for my birthday, which was last Friday. And Mother's Day, which is today. <laughs> so I got some goodies I wanted to just hop on and share with you guys. I got some more coming in the mail tomorrow i ordered myself mother's day but it's not getting um dropped off until tomorrow so i'll share that when it comes it's some yarn <laughs> and i do have some packages on the way i don't know if they're birthday gifts or something from someone um but they've been kind of lost in the mail they got stuck in nashville for a few days and my arm's itching and i'm wearing a long sleeve shirt so i gotta go this way <laughs> um they just now moved this morning they've been sitting in nashville for like four days <laughs> so hopefully i'll get them this coming week but i'll i'll share those when i get them and I also have a, a new bag that I want to share with you that will be going up in the shop tomorrow, May 10th. So, for my birthday, which was Friday, I got a bag here, a big reusable bag. It's all been sitting here since then because I wanted to share it with you guys before I put it where it's supposed to go. So, I got some goodies at Hobby Lobby and Walmart because basically um, I just picked out what I wanted. <laughs> but um, it was still fun. We had a fun day that day. We just ran around and did whatever I wanted to do. I got some snacks that I love. And uh, just had some fun, you know, just me and my husband and Jesse for a little while, but he ended up at my mom's getting it all out of the bag. Okay. I also got my knit crate down in here that I will share with you. I've almost got it all out. <laughs> Be patient with me. Knit crate. All right. This is Happy Mail. I'm going to share Happy Mail in a different video. I got some birthday cards, but I'm going to share those in a different video. Okay, so for my birthday, we went to Hobby Lobby first. I looked up the yarn, but I didn't really see anything that I wanted that I didn't already get because my husband let me buy much yarn as like a gift recently, a week or so ago. So I got a lot that I wanted from Hobby Lobby anyways. But I did need some stitch marker stuff. I ran out of the, uh, the eye rods, I think they're called. And I need to make some stitch markers for... Uh, specifically for the Halloween swap I'm doing later this year but also um you know I need them anyways for my stash so I got some of the ones with the little loop on top they were half off the day I got them they're $3.99 but they were $1.99 because uh they were half off I got some of the solid ones too they were the same price and I went ahead and got some more of these little claspy things these are hit or miss sometimes they're good quality sometimes they're not I always when I make stitch markers I always like use it a few times to make sure that it's sturdy enough to give to someone and then also at Hobby Lobby the only other thing I got was two of these <laughs> um craft rings I think is what they're called they're still rings and I got a 12 inch one and a 14 inch one they're just solid rings well actually they're not solid there's like a join right there but uh I got these because I want to make some wall hangings I'm going to crochet around these. Uh, I have a pattern for one downloaded, but I might just wing it myself. And I got both sizes because I wasn't sure which size I would need. So, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with that. Try and figure out um, how to make it the way I want it. So, that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. I didn't buy any yarn at Hobby Lobby. But then we did go to Walmart. And it's the Walmart in the town we were at was bigger than ours. So, it has a better yarn selection. And, um... Some of this yarn I bought just because I like it and I want to use it for Emma Groomies eventually. And some of it I bought with a specific project of mine. So the ones that I bought randomly, I got three different Mandela Ombres. This one is called Balance. I got these for Emma Groomie because I love the colors on them. I just they make cute Emma Groomies. And then I got this one is called Chi. And it is so windy outside. <laughs> it looks gloomy. Purpley. And then the third Mandela Ombre that I got is Serene. Really pretty. So those are going to be Emma Groomies eventually. The other yarn that I got, I got some of the Mainstays Velvet yarn. 
and this one's what is this one called? This one's called Baby Velvet Yarn Sweet Violet. I got two balls of it. Uh, it's it's like a number six, I think. Yeah, number six, and there's 80 yards each. I got this because Michelle Estrada has a new hippo pattern coming out soon, and I wanted to make a purple hippo. <laughs> so I went ahead and got that. So as soon as her pattern drops, I'm going to buy it and make some hippos. And then I also got the same kind of yarn, but it's, the colorway is multi-pastel. <laughs> like, one ball's, like, perfect, and one's all <laughs> not perfect. But, actually... Yeah, I was going to say they're different, but I, I do see the yellow in here now. It's just down in there. <laughs> but I got two of those. Those are to make hippos with whenever Michelle drops that pattern, which I'm looking forward to. And then we went to a thrift store because I love thrift shopping. <laughs> and all I found there that I wanted to buy was I found My Girl 1 and 2 on DVD. Love those movies. They're sad, but I love them. And then I also found another movie that I love, A Knight's Tale. I haven't seen that in years, and I love it. I remember watching it a lot as a teenager. So I got those. They were a dollar, I think. And then, and this, I found this in the material section because I always look at the material. But it's not material. I mean, it, it is material, but it's not meant to be used to make something with. It's a map. It's an upside down. It's just a big world of map. See? Ain't that cool? So it was uh, $2.99. And it was marked as a material. Uh, the thrift store that I go to, the way they have their material is they like fold it up and then roll it up. They, it kind of like um, remnants at Joann's. They, you know, they fold it and then they roll it. So, and the way they had it folded, it was mostly blue. And I seen a little bit of the map on there. So I, I, I grabbed it real fast and I was like, is that a map? And I unfolded it and it was. So uh, that's pretty cool because I've been wanting a map to hang up uh, in the house. <laughs> so I'll probably hang it in here because I don't have a wall anywhere else to hang it up. But I just thought that was really neat. I like having a world map and that's a cool one. And then we went to um, Shoe Carnival. <laughs> I was trying to remember. We went to Shoe Sensation first but their parking lot was packed and there was no parking spots. Um, so we went to Shoe Carnival because I had been talking about how I needed some new Vans. It's the type of shoes that I love wearing. And so Devin wanted to buy me a pair of Vans. So these are my birthday Vans. <laughs> They're black with like um, shimmery colors on it. Really cute. I wanted the tie-dye ones, but they didn't have them in my size. So this is a good second. <laughs> so that's everything I got for my birthday from my husband and my son. It's technically Devin. But I did pick all of it out. <laughs> That's usually how we do. Sometimes Devin will surprise me with stuff. Um, but mostly we just go shopping together and we get to pick what we want. But uh, yeah. So today Devin, when he got home from work, he came home and picked up Jesse. Man, that tree is blowing around. Um, so that he could take him to Walmart to pick me out something. So they did get me some snacks, which are in the kitchen. They got me some 100 grand bars and some um, like Slim Jim sticks and a bouquet of flowers and I'll put a picture in of that I took a picture of it really pretty flowers and then um, also he got they got me two balls of this um, mainstays yarn it is like the variegated multi pink I already have one ball right here so now I have three balls and I can I got that in a swap I believe around the holidays um, so now I got three of them and I think this would be perfect for a Valentine's Day project because it's pinks and white and red so it's like well it's not really red it's just different shades of pinks and white it'd be a pretty Valentine's Day thing and then they also got me Jesse picked me out a stuffed animal <laughs> a unicorn because he knows I love uh, bright colors and it just says uh, love you mom right yeah <laughs> so I love my unicorn and then the last thing they got me is some oh my phone's done <laughs> some pajama pants because I'm a pajama pants person and it's got baby Yoda on it it's not it's not baby Yoda but you know it's the baby off of the Mandalorian and it looks like it's got I'm not sure what that is it's like a like one of the suns or something from the planet and it also says feed me which is accurate because I'm always hungry <laughs> and it's really pretty green um, tie I like it a lot I love pajama pants I'm pretty much always, I'm wearing yoga pants right now. <laughs> if I'm not going somewhere, I'm in pajama pants. So, yay. I'm going to try these on later. Jesse just got some pajamas for his birthday that are Mandalorian themed. So, we'll be matching kind of. 
but I love them. They're really soft and silky. I think it's everything I got for my birthday from them. And then there's my cute little birthday gnome from Rebecca. I love it so much. Now that my birthday's over, I'm going to put it in the living room. <laughs> and that's where we'll live until I die. <laughs> well, until we move and then it'll live in that living room and then, then it'll go to Jesse when I die. <laughs> so, uh, cause I am a sentimental person. I keep everything anyone ever sends me. I have every letter and card that anyone's ever sent me. Um, in a tote in my bedroom and I randomly open it up and dig through it because <laughs> it makes me happy. I recently had to upgrade my tote from a small one to a larger one because it's so full, which I love. But uh, yeah, so I got it set in there and everybody was right. That is a wood piece for it to sit on because <laughs> I was an idiot and didn't know what that wood piece was for. But now I know. So now I got to figure out where to put all this yarn because my, I only have these two shelves here for yarn and they're kind of full. There's a few spaces, but pretty full. I just need to start using it. <laughs> I have ideas for most of these. I just haven't got going yet. <laughs> I need to do that. But okay. So I did get Knit Crate. I guess I'll make another video for that. And uh, but I do want to share with you the bags. I just finished them today. You can't, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm covered in uh, batting fiber. <laughs> uh, when you sew anything with batting, it just flies everywhere. So I made some bag sets for the shop tomorrow. There are 16 bag sets all together. Um, a bunch of different prints and yeah so then they're gonna come with a notions pouch and I quilted on this time you can see the lines through there and they're all lined this one's purple but the rest of them are white I'm pretty sure some of them have blue but uh, this one just happens to be purple so they're lined they got um, interfacing in there so that makes them sturdier than just fabric and a zipper on them <laughs> and I do always try to match the color of the zipper with the fabric as much as I can Sometimes I can. And then the project bags is a new shape. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made this shape project bag before. But it's a smaller size. So here's the Notions pouch. Oh, it's kind of blending in with the fabric. <laughs> but they are also quilted. You can see it there. This has got uh, a layer of fabric. You know, the outside of that layer. And then in, in between the fabric is polyester batting, which is squishy. Like the inside of quilts. That's what it's, you know, that's the only thing I can refer to and then it's also got liner on the inside and so they're kind of squishy pink zipper <laughs> they do have a label on the side and on the other side they have a handle which is pretty good size so you know pretty good for people's hands or to hook onto a hook or something and uh, they do have box bottoms there it is <laughs> so it's really cute so there's the front view and then the side of you there it is <laughs> so uh, these bags will be sold in sets of the project bag with a matching notions pouch because I didn't put pockets in these because of the size of the bag. It's kind of, you know, it'd be awkward to have a little pocket in there. So you can put your yarn and your project down in there and then throw your pro your notions pouch with your um, sewing and needles and your safety eyes if you're making amigurumi, your scissors, your hook. <laughs> you can throw it all down in there and have it all in a nice little bag. So like I said, there's going to be 16 sets. There's two of pretty much all of them. Except in one, there's three of, <laughs> and one, there's only one of, and it's a bunch of different prints, but I thought this was so pretty. This fabric's so pretty, but uh, like I said, they're going to be in the shop tomorrow, which is May the 10th, afternoon Central Standard Time. I don't know when. It might be right after noon, <laughs> or it might be later in the day, um, just whenever I get around to it. Uh, it's about to storm here, so I won't be uh, working on the list listings today. I'll get up in the morning and take photos and make the listings and uh, get ready to put them in the shop. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're really neat. I like these ones a lot. Uh, I've been, I've had these zippers for a while. These big ones, I'm pretty sure were gifted to me. No, I bought the big ones. Someone gifted me another pack of the these little zippers. And I had these zippers forever, these big ones. And I was like, I need to use them up because they've just been setting in here. And I used up most of them. I still got a few, <laughs> quite a few actually. There's like maybe 20 in there. So I'm just trying to use up some things that's been sitting around. I need to do that with all this yarn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm excited. And a lot of this stuff is scraps from um, the other tote bag, you know, the last tote bag updates. I always save the little sh small pieces. Because when they measure them out for me, they always measure them out way lo longer. Like if I buy four yards, I end up with like six yards because the person never untwists it and stuff. Which I'm not complaining because I get extra <laughs> stuff. But, um, uh, yeah, so I'm excited about these new bags, new shape, and, uh, this will probably be pretty easy to package up, because I could just fold it this way. Yeah. 
I'll probably fold it like that in the package <laughs> so it'll fit in my smaller size bag. So yeah, that'll be, that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> so now I'm going to hop off here and try to find somewhere to put all this yarn. To be honest, I'll probably go back in that bag and sit here on the floor for a while. Until I get around to it. <laughs> I, I got to go um, finish cleaning up my craft room because after I get done sewing, I always clean it up really good. And um, get it ready for the next sewing thing, <laughs> which will probably be... Hmm. We have plans next Sunday and next Monday, Devin's sister's graduating. So it'll be after that week when I do more bags, <laughs> probably. And those will probably be drawstring bags because I always like to do the harder ones and then I do drawstring bags because they're super easy. <laughs> and then I'll do the harder ones and then drawstring bags and I'll flip flop. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all had a good Mother's Day or or having one because it's still Mother's Day. Um and I, I did. I'm, I love all my gifts, and I love my boys, so I love getting anything from them. <laughs> so I, re I really wish I'd quit buying me candy because it's kind of making it hard for me to keep my figure. <laughs> but, um, you know, you only live once. Might as well eat the candy. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and try to get this stuff cleaned up, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll do a knit crate video maybe tomorrow <laughs> to share my knit crate with you. But, uh, yeah, I hope it doesn't storm too bad. I hope it's okay where everybody else is. I saw a big front coming through Tennessee and, um, our whole area. I think it's going to be hitting parts of Kentucky and Alabama and all that too. But, uh, yeah, stay safe and have fun, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.